this is Celine from Blue Calla Patterns and welcome to video three for the Lunaria satchel. Um, before we start uh, the front panel assembly, uh, we're just going to do what uh, step 11 in the pattern asks us to do and we're going to mark the bottom centers on all of our main body pieces. So you'll have the one exterior piece with the foam and then the other exterior uh, main body piece that doesn't have foam and then the two lining pieces so you're just going to fold them in half vertically right sides together and then you just need the bottom center mark on the wrong side and we're going to need those center marks when we're attaching the gusset And then for the main body exterior piece that doesn't have the foam, do that bottom center mark on the wrong side, although it really actually you, you won't need it because we're going to attach the foam and put the center mark on the foam. For this one, you're going to actually fold it wrong sides together. And then I want you to mark the center on the top and the bottom on the right side because we're going to use those center marks to align our front pocket. Okay, looks good. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna set, set this aside for a second and uh, what you'll need to get now is your front pocket exterior piece. Okay, so you'll need your front pocket pattern piece and your front pocket um, exterior and lining piece and then the one half of your magnetic snap so in the pocket you're installing the thicker half of your snap the washer and also get a little scrap of Peltex so we're going to use the pattern piece to mark the location of our magnetic snap which is this little mark here on the pattern piece Okay, and then we're going to place the center hole of our washer over that mark and then just um, mark the location for our prongs. Okay, and then need a seam ripper and you're going to cut out those, um, those prong holes. So what I do, because I don't want to just uh, rip a large hole, what I actually do is I just stick it in at the bottom and then I stick that out at the top of the mark and then I just, then I know I'm just going to tear this very small part. Okay, now if you're using fabric for your uh, front pocket exterior, at this step, you're going to want to apply some fray check, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, this is fray check, so you'll just want to apply a drop of that on each of the little, uh, uh, the, each of the holes that you just cut. Okay, so now you just, it's pretty easy to install a snap, push the prongs through the hole. And then I kind of just press the Peltex to make, um, just to transfer the where the prong holes, where I need to cut holes for the prong. Slip that over and then place your washer. And now you should cover the prongs so that they don't uh, scratch your uh, lining fabric for your pocket. So there's a couple of options that you can uh, do. You can put a piece of tape over top, or if you have a scrap of fusible interfacing, you can just uh, fuse that over top. Um, so I'm actually just going to use some tape. 
And I'm also going to cover the front here with a piece of tape just so that I don't scratch my snap while I'm assembling the bag. Just like that, just for now. And I'm going to pause the video and look for my, my duct tape to cover this up. Um, and then uh, I want you to have your pattern piece handy and then we'll continue the assembly. Okay, so now you're going to take the front pocket pattern piece and I want you to cut out that little triangle shape at the corner. Okay. And then you're using this to draw uh, the lines for your darts in your pockets. And this, this is just going to give the pocket a little bit of depth. And you're going to do this on both the exterior and the lining piece. And when you are sewing your darts, you're, you, you're just sewing over the lines that you're drawing. I really could have used a white pencil on the black because it's very difficult to see. I'm trying to make them dark. Okay, now, to sew your darts, I'm going to use the lining piece so that you can actually see the lines that I drew. Um, all you're doing is you're pinching and you want the, the bottom edge here of the lines to be lined up. And then complete the pinch. Okay, and then you're just going to sew, to sew the dart. You start here at this this bit here, the top, the at the corner, the top corner part, you backstitch and then you sew down to the end and then you backstitch again. And you do that the same way for all four darts. Okay, so I finished my dart, sewing my darts. This is what they look like. Um, it's harder to see on the black, so I'm showing you on the lining piece. And then you can just trim away a bit of that seam allowance, just don't get too close here. So you're really just trimming a tiny bit um, along the bottom end. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to place these two pocket pieces right sides together and we're going to clip them together. Now when you're clipping together, you want to make sure that the, the dart seams are perfectly aligned. So now I'm going to sew these together and you're going to start here at this along this top edge here. Sorry, that's just my iron turning off. You're going to um, start here, backstitch, sew to the corner and then rotate. Sew all the way down along this edge and then when you get to this corner, you're going to stop and rotate and then sew in a little bit again and then backstitch. So you want to leave about two, three inches for turning your pocket. Um, so I'm going to go to the machine. I'm going to sew these together and then um, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so the pocket pieces are sewn together. Now I'm going to trim the seam allowance before I turn it. So don't trim this portion here where you have the opening because you want that uh, you want that to be able to turn it in and close that opening. So I usually just start here. When you get to the corners, be careful not to cut any stitching, but you want to get fairly close so that you have nice uh, sharp corners.
Now, if you're using fabric for the exterior and the lining, after you've turned your, your pocket, you'd want to press all of those uh, seams. But uh, I've made things more difficult for myself by using um, this vinyl. So I'm actually going to use, I'm going to finger press and I'm going to use clips to kind of hold it in place. Makes it a little bit more complicated, but um, I really wanted the pocket, the front of the pocket to be in the black vinyl for contrast. So if you're using a fabric that can't be pressed like I am, so what I just usually do is I kind of roll that seam allowance between my fingers and then I just put a clip and it holds it in place. It makes it a little bit uh, trickier when you're attaching it to the front of the bag, but Now, we're not going to be top stitching all the seam allowance. The only part we're going to top stitch for now is the top edge where we have the opening. Um, and we, when we're top stitching, we're also going to close that opening that we used for turning the pocket. Okay. All right, so now I just need a couple more clips. So I'm gonna do the same here. And then you can press the lining side if you've used fabric, uh, but I'm just going to do the whole way the same. Just rolling it and using my clips to hold it in place. So when I do this part, I'm turning that seam allowance inwards inside the pocket. And when I do that, I all I'm making sure is that the that top edge here is as straight as possible. You don't want it to curve inwards or outwards, like you want it to be nice and, and straight. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to the machine and I'm just going to top stitch this top edge and close that opening at the same time. And, and then we'll attach it to the front of our bag. Okay, so the top edge is now sewn shut. We're going to take the pocket and fold it in half and we need to make a mark at the top and the bottom center. So it's a little bit hard to fold in half perfectly because of the snap and all these clips. So I have one clip right where my center is here. And we're gonna use these center marks to make sure that they're, the pocket is uh, right in the middle of our front panel here. Okay. So we want this pot, the top edge of the pocket to be one and three eighths of an inch below the top edge. So I have misplaced my ruler. Okay, so I'm gonna place this along the top edge. Okay, one and three eighths of an inch from the top. Okay, and then I make sure I can use an I'll use another ruler. And I just make sure that all of my center marks are aligned. Like so. Okay, now because um, I have all these these clips. Uh, I'm, you're not supposed to use pins with uh, vinyl, so I actually just use scotch tape in this step. <laughs> and then as I'm sewing, I just it's just it peels off really easily. So, and it doesn't leave a residue on the fabric. In case you're worried about that. I'm sure I could glue it on and wait for the glue to dry, but I just find this so much faster. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go sew the pocket in place. You start at this top corner, backstitch. Make sure you backstitch really well because you want the, the opening of the pocket to be fairly strong. So all the way down and then when you get back to this corner, you make sure that you backstitch again. I just remembered that I have one more tip to make sure that your pocket is centered and that is to measure the distance from this corner of your pocket to the outer edge and just make sure that those distances are the same and if they aren't then you should um, adjust the position of your pocket just a little bit. So this one here just needs to go in one eighth of an inch. Okay that's perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to my machine and sew the pocket in place. Okay, so the pocket is sewn in place. I'm just going to set this aside. And now you'll need your exterior zipper facing pattern piece. Sorry, it's a bit too bright. Okay, now you should see it. Um, and we just need to start by cutting out the rectangle shape. So, so I'm just going to cut out the rectangle shape. I won't, I won't do this on video. That is very much too boring. So start by cutting out this rectangle shape from your exterior zipper facing pattern piece. So I've cut out the rectangle shape in my pattern piece and I'm going to use that to draw the rectangles on the wrong side of my two exterior zipper facing pieces. You could also use a ruler and draw this opening. It's probably actually a bit more accurate, but okay, there's one done. side. Okay, so now you're going to take that front panel again and you're going to place these zipper facing pieces. So I want them to be about a quarter of an inch and uh, have a quarter of an inch space here at the top and you can butt them up against the side of your um, your your pocket here. So I'm just going to use my ruler to mark a quarter of an inch. And then I'll use pins and pin the facing piece in place. And then I'll do the same on this side. This one a bit crooked. Okay, so now we're going to, I see now that my pocket is not perfectly aligned. So do what I say, but don't do what I do here. I have a little bit more space on this side here, about a little more than an eighth. Um, so now we're going to sew the facings in place and you're going to use those rectangle boxes as your guide. Use a shorter stitch length when you do this and keep your needle in the down position so that when you rotate at the corners, it makes a really nice sharp corner. So you're gonna sew both of these facing pieces on um, at this step. 
Okay, so I've sewn the rectangle shape on both facing pieces. Now I'm going to draw a horizontal line down the center and it doesn't need to go all the way to the very ends. And then I'm going to draw four diagonal lines going from that center line to each of the four corners. I'm going to do the same for this one. This line, these lines don't have to be extremely perfect. They're just uh, some rough guides to follow when you're cutting the um, cutting along these lines, cutting the opening out. So be careful if you use a rotary cutter that you don't go all the way through, but I find this faster. So you're gonna cut along that center line first and then use a really sharp pair of scissors. So I just I just use these because they're they have a really uh, sharp end and cut from that center line to each of the four corners. Now this is actually the most important part here. You want to cut as close as you can into those corners without cutting any of the stitches and that will give you some really nice uh, sharp corners for your rectangle opening. Okay, so I'm going to finish cutting these out and then I'll set up my iron and I'm going to show you how to um, iron the, uh, the openings for your zipper pockets. Okay, so the, uh, the openings have been cut out. Now you're going to, and I'm just going to show you one and then you'll, you'll do both. So this is also really important uh, that you do a good job pressing uh, the facing piece to um, the wrong side here of your main body panel because what you really want to do is make sure you do a good job when you're pressing um, these side the side seams because if you don't do a good job what happens is your main body panel will curve inward slightly and it won't be the same size as your foam interfacing piece so take your time and I find it helps if I dampen my fingers a bit and then I really roll that seam between my fingers before I press it. And I really take my time when I do this step because if you take your time and do a good job, then you have really nice openings for your zipper pocket. Now, um, you can press from the front, from the right side of the main body panel or the wrong side. I am doing from the wrong side only because my pocket is in vinyl and I don't want to accidentally melt my vinyl with my iron. So this way here, it's a little bit protected from the heat. Normally I would uh, probably do it from the front and then the back as well. So I would iron from both sides, but I think I'm going to um, be very careful when I iron on the front side, if I do. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this. I don't have any puckering at the corners which means that I probably clipped close enough. Okay, so now I do want to press here. I'm gonna just put this over top so I don't touch my vinyl. And just give it a pressing like this on the front. Okay, so that one is good. Now you're gonna go ahead and you're going to do the same with uh, this zipper pocket opening. Okay, so this part here is ready. Now I want you to take one of your uh, seven inch zippers or nine inches of zipper tape like I have and two of the exterior zipper pocket lining pieces. Now you do have a whole other set of these uh, pieces and another zipper. I'm just going to show you how to do one and then you'll do the other one. So you just take this, place your zipper and pin it. I am running out of pins. Now if you have a seven inch zipper 
there's going to be a tiny bit of space here. Just center your zipper and pin it in place. If you have nine inches of zipper tape like I have, then it's gonna go all the way from one end to the other. Okay, so you're just gonna pin this in place and then you're gonna go over to your machine and you're going to sew along this edge with one quarter inch seam allowance. And this pin is not very good. Oh, extremely dull. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go sew this in place. Okay, so the zipper is attached to this lining piece. I am just going to flip the lining piece away from the zipper and press the seam allowance away from the zipper. Like so. And then I'm going to take the other lining piece and place it like this. I'm gonna go get more pins. I'm going to bring this over because I'm pinning my mat. Okay, and I'm going to sew this in place with one quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, so the second piece is attached and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to Pull it away from the zipper and press the seam allowance away from the zipper. Okay, so this is what you should have in this step. Now you're going to repeat exactly what I've just done with the two last pieces of exterior zipper pocket lining and your remaining zipper. Okay, so we have um, all of our zipper pocket lining pieces attached to our zippers. Now you're going to take your main body panel and you're going to fit the zipper inside the opening on either side. Now, to ha make sure you have it lined up the right way, you want the bottom edges of your zipper pocket uh, lining pieces to be lined up with the bottom edge of the facing piece. So that is your guide for the placement. Okay, so if you see, I don't know if you can see here, but the bottom edge of my facing piece is lined up with the bottom edge here of my zipper pocket lining pieces. So once you have that lined up properly and your zipper is perfectly centered in the rectangle opening, you can pin it in place. Okay, and I usually just pin it along the top and the bottom edges. I don't pin anywhere else because I like to adjust so that when I'm sewing around my rectangle box that I can, I can move things around so that my zipper remains perfectly centered in the opening. So I'm also going to pin this second one on the other side. Again, you're doing it exactly the same way. You want that, the bottom edge of your facing piece to be lined up with the bottom edge of your lining pieces. And your zipper is perfectly centered. So, okay, so now we're going to sew these in place and you're sewing along around the rectangle opening with 1 8 of an inch seam allowance all the way around and you do that for both of them. Uh, make sure that you're not, um, that your you all of your pocket lining pieces are lining, are laying perfectly flat. So if you turn it around, Okay, you want everything to look exactly like this. Okay, so I've sewn the zippers in place on both sides. Now flip this over. Okay, so it should look something like this. And what you're going to do is you're just going to flip this over. 
Okay, now they're not the same length. Here, I'll just move this so you can see it a little bit. They're not the same length, that's okay. We're actually just going to, to sew them and then we can trim this um, excess lining right here. So you just want to pin these together like this. Okay, so you're not pinning, you're just pinning the two lining pieces together. You're not pinning the main body piece at all. And then do the same for these. That's just my iron shutting off. Okay, so I'm just going to show you with the one set of lining pieces, and then you can do the same with both. So we're going to go over to the machine now, and we need to sew the zipper pocket uh, shut. So the lining pieces have to be sewn together. It's I find it easier if you sew this way, with your main body facing up pull the zipper pull out of the way a little bit and then just flip this over like this so all you should see here are your two lining pieces and your facing piece and your zipper so I'm actually going to start here along the bottom edge so what you do is you start sewing here you backstitch okay we're gonna flip the whole body panel out of the way to do this so you're gonna sew here and you're trying to get as close as you can to that uh, the stitching that you did around the rectangle opening for the zipper pocket. So you sew, backstitch, sew across here all the way almost to the end. And then you have to stop before you get to the end here. So actually I'm going to trim the excess lining pieces now. This will make this a little bit easier for me to show you. Use some paper scissors. So this just makes it a little bit easier for me to explain. Okay, so you're starting from the bottom edge here. You're backstitching, sewing across. When you get here, you st rotate and sew up, but you don't wanna to go too close to the top here because again, you're going to flip the main body panel out of the way and you're going to try to sew across here as close as you can get again to that, that stitching around the rectangle opening of the zipper pocket. Then come across here and backstitch. So I'm gonna go over to the machine and I'm going to sew that. And then I'll, I'll do it in black contrasting thread so that you can see the stitching and see what it looks like when it's done. So when you're doing this, you're only sewing the two lining, the pocket lining pieces and the facing and the zipper together. You're not sewing to the main body exterior piece at all in this step. Okay, so I've just sewn the two lining pieces on this side. So if I open up my zipper, I have a full zipper pocket here. And I hopefully you can see the stitching here. Let me just change the brightness here. Okay, so now you can see that I started here, I backstitch, and I sewed all the way here, here, and then I backstitched again. Now, I don't want any of this to be caught in my seam allowance when I'm doing um, my final assembly, so I'm actually going to trim this away. Um, if you're worried about your zipper fraying, you can seal the, ends, uh, the cut end of your zipper here. And I'm also going to trim away some of my facing. Make sure you're not trimming your back stitching. I usually do a lot of back stitching here just to make sure. Okay, and this pocket is done. You're going to do exactly the same steps for the second zipper pocket. Okay, so both zipper pockets are done. Uh, here's the back view with the lining pieces. Now I'm just going to take the remaining foam interfacing, place this on top. Now make sure that your lining pieces, pocket lining pieces, are nice and flat. Okay, and then I'm just going to clip this in place. And then you just baste it uh, in place. Again, if you want to reduce bulk in the seams, you can use a zigzag stitch to do this. Um, I'm just going to use a straight stitch because my machine doesn't mind the, the thicknesses. Okay. 
And then this is the end of this video. What we're going to do in the next video is uh, we're going to attach both of our main body exterior pieces to our exterior gusset and we're also going to assemble our flap.